Hello children, welcome to story time with Miss Nidhi. Today I am going to take you all to a mela. Yes, you heard me right. I am going to take you all to a mela or a fair. Lilu is also at the fair with her class of 36 students. But sir needs to keep counting them to see how many tickets to buy and to make sure no one is lost. Is there an easier way to count to 36? Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's find out if we can all count it more smartly and also watch out what's happening at the Mela. So our today's story title is Max at the Mela. The author of this story is Kavita Mandana and illustrations are done by Nirzara Berulkar. Let's get started with our story. Come on! Lilu is at the Mela with the students of Standard 4. All 36 of them. Sir says, Those who want to go on the toy train, raise your hands. Everyone shouts, Me, sir, me, 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 me. Sir starts counting the hands. Before he can get to 36, the toy train gets full. It gives a loud toot of the whistle and takes off. Standard 4 has to wait for the next train. Next, it is time to go on the joint wheel. Each swinging box of the wheel has only two seats. Lilu sees that a single ticket is for two people. So before Sir starts counting one by one, Lilu quickly counts her class in twos. Come on, all of you need to count along with me. Two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and 18. The ticket collector asks how many tickets? Lilu answers 18. She says that she requires 18 tickets. Now let's see what happened next. At the merry-go-round, each horse has three seats. I love merry-go-round. It's so wonderful. Pitu wants to show the class how clever he is. So he begins counting in threes. Do you all know how to count in threes? No? Let's count with me. Three, six, nine and twelve. Sir asks, how many horses do we need? Bitu proudly says, twelve, sir. It is the end of the day. They're all tired. Sir wants to make sure all 36 children are safely back in the bus. This time, Didu wants to count. She notices that each row in the bus has four seats. So she comes loudly in fours. Let's get started and count together. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two and she stops just before saying thirty-six. Sir, two kids seems to be missing and are not in the bus. She gasps. The bus driver Didu and Sir count the sleeping class again. Who could be missing? Aha! Come see! Here is one missing fellow! The driver says from the back of the bus. On the last row is Montu. Fast asleep and snoring. But that only adds up to 35 children. Just as Sir steps out to search for the missing child, Didu shouts, Sir, come back please. We found her. Who is this naughty girl? Sir asks. Didu points at herself. Me, Sir, I had forgotten to count myself. So children, that was the number fun story. You can always count in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to make your counting much faster. You need not count like 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 36. Don't you think counting in 2s and 4s makes it much faster and easier? So keep practicing and you don't have to go to a mela to count in 2s, 3s or 4s. Just look around. You would find so many things to count in sets. Count the number of feet in your classroom by counting in 2s. You can count fruits, vegetables, wind 
windows, tiles on the floor. There are so many things which you can count in twos, threes and fours. Do give it a try and practice your counting in twos, threes, fours and fives. And stay tuned for more stories. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get notification for all the new story uploads. And keep reading. I will be back with another interesting story for all of you very soon. Till then, ta-ta. Bye-bye. See you.